Hi folks, Nick Rowland here from Nick Rowland Auctions. Just a quick video to tell you a little bit about our auction coming up this weekend on Sunday the 15th of November starting at 9.30am Queensland time. It'll be a live webcast auction so you just tune in on our website at www.nickrowlandauctions.com. There's 400 lots on offer with a wide variety of bottles including cods, marbles, ginger beers, uh, and uh, uh, you know, crown seals, a whole wide range of, of things, something to suit most collectors, that's what we try and do. The uh, few selection, selected items here, a few items I just think people are, haven't quite seen yet, they're, they're, uh, and, and uh, they're, they might miss, so I just thought I'd put a point out to you at this little video, uh, but by all means jump online, have a look all the way through. Uh, if you can't sit around all day Sunday, don't worry, you can do absentee bidding online, or there are still a few phone spots available, so give us a quick ring and, uh, and get in quick and we might be able to fit you in there as well. Uh, so just to take you a few, a few, through a few of these, we've got this wonderful gin here, uh, sorry, schnapps here. It's uh, been lovely, lo lovely opalization on it there, beautifully opalized. Uh, this happens when the uh, uh, water uh, starts to corrode the glass essentially. Uh, and uh, we commonly call it opalization in, in, in the collecting game. It's a beautiful, beautiful example. Next one we've got here, and you don't, it's pretty hard to get a 26 ounce cod these days. It's a big size cod, family size, as we'd call them today. Uh, it's got the steel, it's got the steel, it's got the reinforcing lugs there uh, for the for the Midson Payton. So that was made here in Brisbane, Midson Payton. Uh, and that's Shepherd Sandgate, the, the, the cordial manufacturer or soft drink manufacturer on that one. It's not too often you see a, uh, a black top or brown top uh, uh, demijohn like this. It's a nice dark colour. Really unusual usual demijohn from Faldings in Sydney. Lovely, lovely condition too. Really lovely condition. You don't see these ones too often. Just for something a little bit different, we always have a few collectibles in here. And this is a little advertising piece. It would have been for Dewar's uh, Whiskey. This is the uh, Highlander. Uh, this is a, a celluloid uh, uh, a figurine. And uh, he would have had a placard here. Adv advertising the whiskey. A um, little bit dirty, it needs a good clean, but uh, you, know, you don't see them like this. It is an early one, uh, so yeah, I think that's real, really worthwhile uh, pick up that one. And this is a really unusual item, this one down the front here. We've got what well, they, it's made by Bickfords and Sons from Adelaide uh, and Brisbane, and uh, it's got uh, imitation odours uh, uh, of the more important war gases. So you get this little box, and in the box comes these little vials. And, and, the, and it's harmless what's in there, but it's meant to, that when you open it and you take a sniff, it's meant to smell like the relevant gas that's written on it. This one's actually got mustard gas on the outside, and, and each one of these is a different gas. It really is quite an interesting little kit. Uh, I'm not quite sure what they would have been used for, but, uh, but really interesting, interesting item. Next we've got this guy here. This is an Elliott's Brothers uh, beef, and, beef Iron and Malted Wine uh, Tonic. Uh, this is stylized off an English or UK bottle, uh, but uh, it is an Australian one made here for the Brisbane market, made for Australian market here in Brizzy, and uh, yeah, really unusual tonic. You don't see it very often either, so um, yeah, I think that would be a really, really good bottle to pick up. I think something really different for your collection. On the theme of different, here's another one too. We've got this little uh, Quarries patent here with a uh, seaweed extract. This is from the UK, this one, but look at that, triangular shaped. Bold neck and uh, highlighter green. You can't can't beat that. That's just really lovely. That is amazing little bottle. That one, really, uh, yeah, quite a hard bottle to get to. I wouldn't say super rare, but you don't see them that often. They're quite sought after by the collectors. On the same uh, token with the the, the uh, collectibles, we've got this little guy here. It's the uh, console uh, education monkey, uh, edu educated monkey. I might need this on the weekend to work out the bids, but basically what happens is, is you uh, position the guy's feet here uh, on the on the on the scale. So you go five times uh, uh, twelve there, and he'll jump over to what the uh, actual figure is there. So yeah, interesting little guy. It's saying sixty, obviously five times five times twelve. Um, but yeah, that's an interesting little thing, little tin plate toy there, um, and, and, and it, it for education purposes. And it comes with some instructions on how to use it here as well. Back into the bottles here, folks. We've got this lovely, lovely uh, little gin, uh, gin, lovely bitters here. Uh, Frisco hot bitters. Uh, beautiful bottle, this one. So minor, minor staining in it, but you just don't dig them in this condition. It really is lovely. Probably clean up a little bit more. There's a little bit dirt inside it, but you know, no blemishes at all, really. Lovely little bottle, that one. 
Once again, made for the Australian, made in Australia for the Australian market. Lovely bottle. And this one, this one seems super rare. No one really seems to know much about it. Um, it's uh, it's from Sydney, the Cavalier Rum, um, little hock bottle shaped bottle, but it's a rum bottle with Cavalier Rum on the on the shoulder. Uh, beautiful size, nice colour, and, and like I said, most people don't really know much about it. So I'll be interested to see how that goes with the collectors. Hopefully, some of the rum collectors will jump on board on that one. And last but not least. Uh, whoever bought, whoever uh, made this really like their soy sauce because uh, it is huge. Look at it. That is the biggest soy jar I've seen in my life. It's massive. Um, lovely big sp pouring spout there and it is just in beautiful condition. Usually they have little dings and nicks and stains but this one's not bad at all. Really is lovely. Really is lovely. Well that's all it is we've got time for uh, today but by all means jump online nickrollandauctions.com uh, jump into the uh, high bid catalogue there, and there you can just have a look through, or you can bid, or you can listen in online. You don't have to. You don't have to, uh, on the weekend. You don't have to uh, register. You can just listen in if you like to. Uh, so thanks for your time, and uh, look forward to hearing from you on Sunday. Cheers.